Spider-Man Noir is from a dimension that is black and white. I mean, literally like a black and white movie. Spider-Man Noir is hard-boiled. He's probably the edgiest of the Spider-Men. Think Raymond Chandler, think Paul Kane, those great old detective novels. He's a private eye and he's fighting Nazis, so he's a real hero. His dimension is 1933. Spider-Man noir physically it looks different. He's got a long leather trench coat. He has these big goggles on his eyes. It looks, makes him look like an insect. Um, he's dressed in very dark tones. Uh, and I think that separates him uh, from the other spider, spider men, spider women, spider animals. For me, Spider-Verse is a great movie for families because it's about positive qualities. It's about being heroes and doing the right thing for the community. It's also great for families because everyone's represented. All people are represented. Uh, women are represented. Men are represented. And like I said, animals are represented. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And having recorded much of the dialogue, I can tell you it has a terrific sense of humor, so I think you're going to have a lot of laughs. When I heard about participating in the Spider-Verse, I, I immediately said yes. Because to me, Spider-Man, the, the character, the Marvel comic character, is the ultimate. He is absolutely the reason that Marvel is the universe it is. He is the most high action, watchable character with a great sense of humor. And if it wasn't for Spider-Man, we wouldn't have all these other great characters. Spider-Man is really, to me, the ultimate superhero. And that's why I said, yes, I, I, I have to be a part of this. You have Spider-Man, you have Batman, you have Superman, but Spider-Man really is the man, the Marvel man.